All right, so this is an update for the online training at uh, Freddy's Mount Kung Fu. I just posted that video yesterday, and thankfully I received some email responses of people interested, and I've listed, you know, the names and the emails of the people out there. And this video is pretty much trying to reach out to you guys and anybody else that's interested. And I look, it looks like I will have enough support to get this thing started. And um, this is, these are my initial thoughts on it. I actually created another video that I didn't post yet, but I left the video at the school, so I might have to kind of reiterate what I already said, and I might end up posting that video anyway, so if I end up saying things you know, re being repetitive, then you know why. But basically, my idea is going to be, it's just going to be the base amount, just $10 a month, that's all that's expected. Um, I have just two rules that I would expect to be followed by the online students. Rule number one is just do not share the videos with anybody without my permission. Do not download them and do not share them. It's only for you to watch. Rule number two, you're not allowed to compete in any combat sports with the techniques that you're going to learn from me. So far, those are the only two rules that I expect to be followed. I've written, I started to get a general idea of the curriculum of what I have to teach, and there's a lot of stuff that I have to teach that none of it is contained in the YouTube out there right now. This stuff is going to be private lessons, and it's mainly, mainly going to be focused on the combative element of what I have to teach. And the combative element is the deadly aspect. That's the part that I do not feel comfortable just sharing stuff with anybody with. And I want to get to know the people I'm teaching. It's nice to get the emails from these people and getting to know who I'm teaching. So that's important to me. All right. So it's going to be focused on the combative element. There's going to be a lot of different things that's going to be taught forms that are going to be taught, hitting the punching bag, hitting the sandbag, various different weapons. There's a phoenix form that I teach, there's a tiger form that I teach, there's going to be safe sparring that I'm going to teach, there's going to be speed training, all sorts of conditioning training, and every video I plan to make will be around five minutes long or less. I want to make short videos and I want to aim to have around at least four videos created every month, if not more. So <clears throat> I'm going to create these instructional videos and then I want the students to practice what is being shown and the students can, if they want to, send me a request for a video on any question that they might have and they're allowed to do this about once a week so and then my video response will be about five minutes or less to try to answer the questions that you have to make any corrections and things like that and then that video will also be shared within the network so you have four base videos of instruction at least every month, at least four. And then all the responses that I receive from the students will also be included in the total video package. Now, <clears throat> as these videos are being accumulated, the new members that join will not have access to all the videos. They will have they would be given videos like base they'll be given segments of the of the curriculum just like they're gonna start off say there's ten videos they're gonna be given ten in the first month and then maybe ten the second month maybe fifteen the third month or it could be for the first month for the second month or whatever but usually I'm going to aim to have it, try to have at least four lessons within that month. And then as I stated, all the response videos will be included within 
that month period of whichever students I respond to to answer the questions. So then, <clears throat> if one student asks a question, oh, how are you supposed to do this move at during this part of the form, then you could watch that video and then you don't need to ask the same question because somebody else already asked it. And then you could ask another question and then I'll answer your question and then now there's two videos of it available for all the students to learn off of as well. So you got the foundational video teaching the technique and then you got the question videos that are respond to to help you understand further the the lesson, you know, you know, the first lesson for example. So that's how I plan to do it at the moment. And you don't have to ask any questions, you just can. And it'd be a limit to just once per week. All right, question. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna start off teaching things where you, you don't really need much equipment because not everybody has the equipment, so the more advanced training will utilize equipment later on but the beginning type of videos will be less equipment involved so you can get started right away to get working on what we need to get working on um, oh yeah another idea that I had the potential idea that I might implement is maybe scheduling once a week it will be on the weekend probably in the afternoon where it will be an opportunity for all the online students to meet up with me on Skype and then I could answer questions live at that moment to all the students at once. So if there's 10 students then we'll all meet up on Skype and we'll talk and I'll answer any questions that you have for that entire hour. So that potentially could be something that I schedule once a week on the weekend and it'll be a, the same time every weekend so it'll be like say every Saturday at say 1.30 p.m. Central Time Chicago Central Time and I'll film that hour of my responses to all these questions and then I'll put it into the network of videos and then the people that missed out on that time in that meeting can watch the video to stay updated okay so what I'm looking at is a minimum I'm aiming for a minimum of four lessons per month basically one lesson every week at least that's what I'm aiming for and potentially having a meeting with all the online students once a week for about an hour and things that will be being taught is I have a lot to teach but it'll be punching kicking elbows knees joint locks pressure points firearms nunchucks staffs batons sticks swords knives, safe sparring, you know, no contact, safe sparring, touch contact, light contact, there'll be flow drills, I call it, there's going to be something called the tiger form, part one, two, and three, something called the phoenix form with the wooden dummy, one part, you know, part one, two, and three, and the curriculum will just keep building as you know I come up with more ideas on what you know to work on alright response videos could also incorporate you sending me a question and maybe even a video of you practicing the technique and then you might be like can you give me a feedback on what I need to do to improve you know on my technique and then I can make a video feedback based on watching you try to perform the technique. Future potential for students that are serious is 
they could potentially travel to Chicago to get more hands-on training, especially with the sparring and the drills and things like that. So, right now I am in the process of deciding where to host the videos. I might just end up going with the YouTube. And then what I'll do is I'll make all the videos unlisted and the link will be shared to you to your private email account on where to go to watch the video. Once again, I ask for everybody to not download the videos and do not share the videos with anybody without my permission. And um, that's what I got planned so far. So it's just only going to be $10 a month and we're going to build from there. Another thing that I want to mention is this. Once you join at $10 a month, it'll stay $10 a month for the entire time that you're training. It's not going to increase. But what I might start doing is if I get more students, say I might have a threshold of 30. So I have 30 students that pay $10 a month. The ones after 30, I might start charging more. I might start start charging 20 or 30 or whatever. So say you're the 31st student, then I'm going to charge you $20 a month. And you'll stay at $20 a month for the entirety of your training. It's not going to increase. And then I might decide to do 30 a month, and then you'll stay at 30, and it's not going to increase. So for the new, for basically, the, basically, the sooner you sign on, the cheaper it will be. It will be $10. But if this thing is going on for, say, five years, then hypothetically, say I'm at that time, I'm charging 100 a month, then those new people will be paying $100 a month, but you'll still be paying $10 a month. That's not going to change. So I want to make that clear as well. I expect all the students to make sure that they pay their monthly dues on time and not force me to remind you to make payment because I don't want to have to worry about keeping track of all that but I will keep track you know of who paid and who didn't and everything like that later on in the future I'm not going to implement it now but later on if I get more people I might start having people submit like an application or something like that where at least I get all their personal info because that, that's what's required when I train people directly anyway they need to sign a contract I need to get their 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 name their address their phone number things like that I might have an application process I might have people answer questions certain questions to make sure that this is the right training for them another thing that I want to bring up is this training is designed for people who do not want to join some school out there or they're not in a school already and they do a lot of self-training and they're very self-disciplined and they're just looking for you know and they connect with me and they want to work with me they don't want to basically I'm not looking for somebody who practices jujitsu or taekwondo or whatever and then just training with me on the side so then they could learn what they need to learn and then go back to where take it back to the original school I'm not looking for traders basically I'm looking for people that are not committed to another school I'm looking for people that are more just on their own and they really are drawn to Bruce Lee's teachings and they wish he was alive but he's not and then they're just stuck training on their own and here's an opportunity to connect with somebody else that that really loves Bruce's teachings and doing everything that he can to keep the spirit alive and if you connect with me and we connect with each other then that's the type of student that I'm looking for I'm not looking for somebody who's just fishing around to come into school steal the videos upload them on another site and then exploit the stuff that I have to teach I'm not looking for that so please if you do not like me if you 
are not here to learn. Please do not get involved in this. Just leave my online training class alone. I want genuine students that genuinely have respect for me, a high level of respect for me, and where we have a good connection, and that you will respect my rules. Um, it's very important for me when I teach that that my art does not get exploited and this is the risk that I'm taking but there will never be growth in life without taking some risks and I feel at least me at least if I'm putting energy to try to stop my art from being exploited at least I'm putting the effort. It's not like I'm just throwing out videos out there for the mass public and then be like, oh, anybody could watch it, including my haters. No, I don't want any of my haters to have access to my training videos. They have no business looking at my training videos. Okay, so um, that's, that's pretty much what it gets down to. What I'm thinking about in the future is that there's more people. I want to basically force people that want to get to the higher levels of the training to get like a firearms owner's identification card and then what will that will signify to me is not only will you have the ability to get the firearm but it will also mean that you went through all the background checks and then I don't have to do it myself because it was already done by the firearms regulations so anybody that has a firearms owner's identification means that their record is clean because there's no way that you're going to get that identification without a clean record. So that's what I might start in implementing in the future for the more advanced lethal training, you know, of which I have to share. So it's like basically don't expect to just walk into a gun shop and just buy a gun without proving that you're mentally like aware and conscious and emotionally stable and that you don't have a long arrest record and that you're not a criminal don't expect to just walk into a gun shop without proving that you know that you're a good person so I want to train good people out there I don't want to I don't want my art to fall into the wrong hands. It's very important to me. So, I just feel that there's a lot of people out there that I could connect with that where we could have a great training relationship. It's just that they don't live by me. So this is my opportunity to reach out to people out there that, that, sh that, that connect with me and, and what I have to teach. And I'm excited, you know, it's really gonna, really, I feel, really take my, my teaching to the next level. Because not often do I meet people that are the right fit for the martial arts. And once I gather up a group of people that have that passion and that drive and that determination, then, then it's gonna be really motivating for me to really excel as a teacher. Other things too think about is in the future I might implement like certifications or ranks but that's gonna be way like later on in the future where we're base where basically there's gonna be objectives like fitness objectives that you're gonna have to try to reach towards where like if you could match my level of fitness or even go beyond then there could be a, a recognition of that and then you could, you know, there could be a certain rank associated with that and things of that nature. So there's just a lot of directions that this could go. Or maybe just, I don't know. I don't know, maybe you'd have to get to a certain level of fitness in order to get you know, an FMK tank top or something like that. It could be something like that, you know. 
but it's going to be very interactive. I want to be very interactive with all the students that I train out there. So it's not just, oh, you know, here's a video. I don't know who's watching. I don't care who's watching. And all I care is I'm just making money off this video. No, it's like, I want to know who I'm teaching. You know, because I, I feel that when the person's learning from me and they know that, that I know that they're learning from me, that they're going to be less likely to be irresponsible with what I have to teach. You know, because they're going to be held accountable. So, oh yeah, the other thing I want to mention is that the YouTube, the public videos, I'm still going to produce the public videos as I have been. But the public videos are mainly going to be focused on just the fitness and the spiritual which is open for all, anybody to learn. It's the combative element that's going to be restricted from the public to be private for only the online students. So you need to continue to support the YouTube channel and make sure that you keep up with your fitness. Make sure that you stay consciously aware and that you practice your meditations. You gotta put it all together. The fitness, the combat, the meditation, that's what makes the martial arts. So the public teachings, as it stated, will be the fitness meditation teachings for the public. Combat training will be held privately. Other things that I wanna mention is $10 a month is all I expect, but say you're the type of person that you want more video responses from me because you have more questions you don't want to just do once a week a question then you have the option of contributing more money in order to get more video responses so meaning you know I'll allow up to one one per week video response for ten dollars a month but if you give twenty dollars a month then I could give two video responses per week give thirty dollars then I could give up to three video responses per week so for people that want to contribute more money you're free to do so and then I will give back by giving more video responses to try to clean up your technique try to answer any questions that you have in order to better understand the instructional videos also understand that just Watching the video is not enough. You actually have to practice what is being shown in the videos. Because you could watch 50 videos in one day, but you're still not doing anything. If you're just watching, you need to actually do it. And that's what makes the difference. So don't think of it as just watching a bunch of highlight reels or watching a basketball game and you're just sitting there. You have to do everything. You got to train, you know. Don't think that just because you watch a stretching video that all of a sudden you're flexible now. It doesn't work that way. You need to practice over and over and over again. So these videos that I'm producing once a week should be more than enough to give you stuff to work on so then you can keep progressing. As the online training grows and if more people start getting involved, then I can start offering more videos per week. Base training videos. Base training instructional videos. So there's more support than I could then there could be more videos. Okay. So just understand that this is the beginning and I need to accumulate the people interested and build enough money to give me to make it worth my time. Because understand that if somebody that's training with me directly is giving me $30 per hour and then online I'm only making $2 an hour, I got to put the private client ahead as priority because they're paying for my time. It's basically boiling down to paying for my time. I need for people to pay for my time in order for me to properly share my art to the public you know so as, as I accumulate more interest 
then you'll see me putting more of my time into instructional videos because right now I'm putting a lot of time into YouTube videos but all that time you know YouTube videos to the public but if I get enough students to support my online training then I don't need to put all that energy to the public videos anymore I can put all that energy to my paying students and I don't even have to worry about pushing those public videos anymore because the people that are really paying me are my paying students so that's what I want to build up so anybody that's interested in this online training just email me your email address email me at freddysmonkungfu at live.com and I will mark your name down, I'll mark your email down and I'll keep you posted and updated of when this thing launches and I plan to launch this thing pretty soon because I'm starting to see that this could be self operated I don't really need anybody's help I could just do it all you know, my way to get it going quick and as you can see I work hard I've already got over 12,000 videos out there on YouTube. So, if I put that same energy into the private training, I know that I can really help some people out there progress to a high level. I just need to organize my ideas, my thoughts, my training, organize it better so then you can learn faster. That's another thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to send out a list of the videos of the private videos and I'm gonna title them organize them so you have you see the structure of everything that you're learning and that is gonna be critical towards your development because now there's a structure towards your growth rather than this YouTube thing right now everything is everywhere it's just like meditation videos are mixed in with the fitness videos there's fitness lessons and then there's combat demos and then there's me talking about you know the latest news and there's just all the, then there, there's comedy videos I mean everything's just everywhere there's everything's just disorganized but this will not be like that this will be organized and structured you have the videos the instructional videos you have my responses you have you have the title of what you're learning and there's gonna be bullet points of your progress of the things that you have to that you're learning and then you can also go back to the old videos to watch the videos to relearn to make sure to, to ingrain it into your memory to get better at it so there's potential to really improve greatly with this online training and that is possible if I put the energy into creating quality instruction and if I receive support out there from the people from the students from paying students then that's going to give me the motivation to deliver the quality the high quality training because I want to build I want to build a future here you know I'm not asking for much because even even if I have 20 students and they're paying $10 each, $200 is a good start point. And then if eventually I can build that up to 1000 then that's what I'm looking for. If I can make at least $1,000 a month training people online, then I'll be pretty satisfied. And this is the type of, this is going to be like more of a restricted access. These teachings are going to be for... not for everybody this is for this is going to be restricted as I stated in the future I'm going to make it harder for people to get involved because I feel that's how the martial arts should be the martial arts should not just be open for anybody to learn no because you look at the law enforcement they have private training not this only for police officers you look at the Navy SEALs they got private training only for the Navy SEALs. You got the Marines, they got their own training only for the Marines. 
any special training out there is restricted. It's not open to anybody to learn. Doctors, same thing. Neurosurgeons, you know, dentists, lawyers, they have specialized training that's restricted from the public. And that's how you show respect for valuable knowledge. You don't just give it out there to anybody. Especially when it comes to something like this. It's not like I'm just teaching somebody how to change their tire in their car. Or how to change a light bulb. Or how to cut their hair. No. I'm teaching people how to kill other people. How to protect yourself from harm. And that, that's dangerous. So, these teachings are not for everybody. So, hopefully I hope to make it more difficult for people to get involved. And you see, I've been on YouTube for quite some time now. And there's been people out there. I've been here about five years and people are still following me. That's been with me since the beginning. And those are the people that deserve to learn. And those are the people that I want to connect with. And I just need to weed out the haters. I got to be able to weed them out. I already shut out my comments. I'm already sacrificing a lot to sh shield myself from the negativity. But during the time that I'm shielding myself from the negativity, I do not want to lose the positive energy that can be gained from connecting with the people that connect with me. So, the people out there that I truly wish to learn, that truly respect me as a teacher, as a Sifu, then those are the people that I want to get involved. And once again, if you do not like me, if you hate me, please, do not get involved in what I'm doing with the online training and just keep to yourself. These teachings are not for you. Okay, so I'm going to end the video there and I plan to get this thing started quick. And I will send the email out to the people that have already emailed me. And the payment so far is going to be simple. You're just going to have to log on to my website make the ten dollar donation once you make the ten dollar donation then you immediately receive the email with the initial videos to start your online training okay so that's that i'm thinking maybe what i could do is for people that reach a certain standard of fitness they might get a discount on the fmk tank tops because right now the tank tops are like $50 each. But if you reach a certain level of fitness standards, then the price could drop down to 40 Or say, you know, you do this many pull-ups, it's 40 You do this many pull-ups, it's 30 You do this many pull-ups, it's 20 So then you earn the tank top, you know, and um, it will motivate you to excel in the fitness aspect of your development okay and just always remember to keep working on that meditation keep trying to understand meditation keep bettering your meditation that will keep you spiritually grounded and that's what's going to turn you into an artist okay so I'll leave it at that